welcome to today's live stream and today's in today's live stream we are going to learn how to edit the silhouette image in adobe lightroom so let's get started so in order to edit this image we need to be in the develop module which you can have the access by clicking on this develop text or you can simply press d on your keyboard and you will be having the access to develop module and now we have all these editing options available over here so first of all i'll come down at the bottom on the lens correction panel and i'm going to select enable profile correction and that way it is going to fix this lens distortion and second thing i'm going to check the remove chromatic aberration and that way it is going to remove some purple fringe or green fringe around the edges if there is any and this luckily this image does not have that and then i will come back on the top and then i will bring down its exposure maybe something like this and I will increase its contrast because I want this to be completely dark or black not something which I can see through the face all right and I'm going to increase the highlights a little bit so that we get some highlights in the sky and let's add more shadows so that we get to this face his face black and let's add more black a little bit and increase the white so that we get more white and increase the clarity a little bit vibrance and saturation as well and now let's come down and come to the details panel this is a details panel and over here we are going to sharpen this image so we are going to increase its sharpening and increase the masking by pressing alt or option until we see the edges so that way it's going to sharpen only the edges and increase the noise reduction and that way we can remove some extra noise if we have some on this image you can see if i drag it down you can see some grains are there but the moment I increase it, it's going to take away those grains and pixelated image. All right. So now we have got something like this. So now we need to add the sky. So for that purpose, we'll come over here on the graduated filter or you can simply press M on your keyboard to have the access to this graduated filter and then what we can do with our mouse we can click once and drag it down to something like this and that way it is going to cover up this entire area but you don't see anything as of now because we haven't made the adjustment to all these sliders so first of all i'll take the temperature towards the warmer side or oh, let's try the blue side okay let's try the temperature towards the blue and add more red or purple in the tint something like this and increase or decrease the exposure and let's increase the contrast and bring down the highlights something like this bring down the shadows but i think this blue is not looking good so i'm going to take it towards the warmer side so temperature slider has to be taken towards the right side so that it adds this orange hue in the sky since this is a morning time and sunrise time so it has to be warm not the blue okay so let me click and drag to readjust this position and will increase its saturation to something like this and then let's add some red something like this lower down the exposure if you want and we are going to remove the noise so we'll bring down the noise slider 
something like this and now we are going to create one more slider by clicking one more graduated filter and dragging it up to something like this and on this we are going to change the settings so this one we are going to take towards the blue side and we'll increase the exposure you can see now we see this blue and red or the orange combination and let's increase the highlights and let's open up the shadows so that we get some dynamic range over here and let the saturation be around 14 that's fine and increase the clarity and let's open up the shadows even further to something like this as you can see now this is looking much better and let's press done once we are happy and now we will change the temperature of this shot so we'll take this slider towards the warmer side of this and then we'll add some don't touch we won't touch the tint let it be this way but it has taken away our blue from the bottom area so what we can do we'll again click on the graduated filter and we'll we have two points one is over here and one is over here and at the moment none of them is selected so we are going to select this so we'll click over here and you can see now this one is selected and if you hover your mouse over it or you click it is going to show you the mask and now we are going to add more blue to this and let me drag this little up to something like this all right and i can drag this down so that it doesn't affect the top area that much and let's increase the saturation a little bit and now click on this <coughs> top graduated filter and over here let me bring down the exposure a little bit let's add more red and click and drag it down so that this covers this entire area and makes it much warmer and we can adjust the saturation if we want but i think this one is fine and we'll lower down its clarity because we don't want any noise in the sky and we'll press done okay and now we are going to add some vignette effect to this image so and before we add the vignette effect we'll come down on the tone curves and over here we'll click once over here and once over here and we'll click and drag it down and that is going to add more contrast to the image and click and drag it up so it is going to make the sky much brighter and we get good results so we can check the difference by turning this on and off you can see how much difference it has made to the image and now let's add some vignette effect so we'll come down on the fx panel which is over here or effects panel and we have to adjust this slider so we can drag it to the right side to add the white slider or we can drag it towards the left to add the black vignette effect okay so i think this one is looking fine and let's come to the top and if you want to make some more adjustment to this you can use the adjustment brush so let's take the adjustment brush and come down on these over here make sure the flow is 100 percent and let's increase the size to something like this and paint here or click over here and let's increase the exposure and to something like this 
let's see how it looks and we can adjust its exposure and we can add warmness we can add redness and let's see how it looks let me place it over here and let's increase the contrast exposure and let's see how it looks by pressing done and this one is looking something like this and it's not looking that good so we are going to remove it so we'll go to the adjustment brush and click here and let's try to place it over here and let's see whether we can see anything and but I don't think that it's going to do much difference so let me just press delete to delete this point and just press done and I think this one is just fine so let me show you the full screen the final result and let me show you the before and after just a minute and if I just press the all right backslash key this is going to show us the before and if I press this again it is going to show us the after so this is before and after or you can simply press Y and it's going to show you the before and this is after we have done these simple editing on only in Adobe Lightroom so thank you so much I hope you have learned something useful from this tutorial and if you did like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel because subscribing is absolutely free and once you will subscribe you will not miss any new video for this channel and also check also click the bell icon and that way whenever I will upload any new video you will get notified and to subscribe all you have to do just click this big red button below this video so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode